Hey guys, Matt from Ultimate City Source. Uh, some of you guys may feel bored of iOS like I have. Some of you guys, like I have, have also used iOS since the launch day of iPhone first generation. Or 2G or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, you know, it was really time, I think, on iPad to mix it up. Unfortunately, Apple really hasn't done that. Yes, they made graphical kind of updates in iOS 6, but we needed something new. Now, if you're on a jailbroken iPad, luckily there is a couple of great things to fix this. The first being Dreamboard, but with Dreamboard, there's been a lot of sucky themes for iPad. There's been a, lot, a couple of good ones, but there's been a lot of bad ones equally. It's finally time for a good Windows theme. Yes, one with the scary dude. No, I'm kidding. That's Apple stock wallpaper. Uh, we'll get into all that and stuff. Okay, so you can see, yeah, Windows. Um, Windows 8, actually, if you realize how big it is. Everything you can see, you get time, date, everything just like it. So let's just see what makes this special. Slide up just like Windows. Okay, so we got tiles. I mean, nothing new for a Windows theme. We've seen many Windows themes, you know, for the iPhone. Get it in frame right there. iPhone, for even iPad, we've seen some ones that are good and maybe look good or something. Um, we've seen some that don't do much. We've seen some that have never made it to really out of concept. So, it's finally good time for a good one. Fallen ZX has done just that on the Mod My forums. He's posted about WinPad 8. Now, if you don't believe me that this is an iPad, one, you get the status bar, and two, besides the carbon fiber backing, you can see this is an iPad too. Okay. So, what makes this special though, is this combines everything I just talked about. It combines function, pretty much great fit and finish overall, function with performance with just everything overall so let's get started first off you notice all the tiles well all the tiles that you're probably noticing off the bat are live I am saying notice them off the bat because the live factor is probably what caught your attention uh, the photos you might have noticed is changing pictures I only have like five pictures on my iPad since I've restored it so it's only rotating through like those five weather you can see it's updating to 73 Los Angeles mod my eye you can see it right there is an actual RSS feed. You can see it keeps updating. Uh, customizable RSS feed right there. And you can see I've got a bunch of other tiles that I just and then you can kind of see some outlines. I haven't just I just haven't filled those in. Not very many apps yet. And then Facebook is actually a live tile. I haven't got around to it yet. So let's get started. Now really off the bat, if I don't like these live tiles, I find it too distracting to hear something. Let's say I want to swipe from right here. Okay, you can see you actually get a menu, just like Windows 8. Now, you can see right here you get time, and over here you get your thing. So you get time and date, and very nice fin finish, very clear actually. I don't think the iPad, the uh, new iPad I'm using to record it, I don't know if it's capturing it fully to what it should be, or rather if the iPad 2 screen's giving it off what it should be, but it's remarkably clear in person. You can see you got the search function. Search actually just opens up the Google search application, which is recommended to download from the App Store, right there, Google Search, free app. Okay, so pulling back from the right side, you get option, oops, sorry, you get options, start, edit, and setting. Now let's just get to options. Click options, and you see I get weather, live weather tile, or weather live tile. You can simply turn that on or off. You can tap anywhere from which you can tap the wording where it says weather live tile, the little kind of bar or the on off and it will toggle it. So the weather will just go back to just that picture of weather. It doesn't tell me actual weather. But I do like that. So I'm going to turn that back on. And you can turn on tile edit mode. Now this feature I think is very, very awesome. You can see you get these little kind of black marks with the plus and circle on the corners of something. Now let's say I really don't need messages like that without hitting volume button. I can click that. And at the bottom you can see I get live slideshow, live calendar, Facebook RSS, Mod My Eye, RSS feed 2, 3, 4, and 5. So it's four customizable RSS feeds and some other ones. So let's say I really need a Facebook RSS right there. Okay, you can see it says I haven't programmed a Facebook RSS feed for it yet. So that's just one of the things, and I keep clicking that. So let's just say I click cancel, goes back to that, simply get out of it, go back to options and disable it. So very awesome feature. 
allows you to customize pretty much any of these big tiles, the ones that are about two of the normal squares. Really enjoy that feature. Moving on, you can see we got start. Now if you click start, you can see it doesn't do anything. Now this acts as a back button more to a lot of the theme settings and stuff. I'll show you that, I'll, how it relates in a second. It's a very helpful feature. Um, it doesn't seem like much at this point, but we'll show you where it comes in. Edit simply allows you to pull up edit mode, like a normal Dreamboard theme. Now this is a little weird because you'll notice there's actually two, so make sure you're clicking the bigger one, not the smaller one. Each icon has about two boxes. I'm not completely sure why, but that's the thing. So right here, you can program what app you want. And right not, you see? Yeah. So to get out of edit mode, actually, you can't hit the edit button. That is one thing. Simply just hit the home button, and you'll exit out of edit mode. Now, my favorite part of the theme might be just be what I'm about to show you. It's where it says setting. Now, setting is cool because I was anticipating right here to open just normal iPad settings app, and it doesn't. So, let me click it, you'll see right here. You can see it actually opens its own theme settings. Now this is awesome, because what this does is, you can see desktop and everything, we'll show you that in a second too. You can click your own pic, you can click one of these pictures, you could change these in, or I believe you, you can wallpeg J, J, wallpaper JPEGifier or something, I believe. In fact, I took a screenshot right here. It's Insidia, it's a free tweak. Wallpaper JPEGifier, you can see right there. Free tweak. You can download that and set your own picture. But let's say, let's say I like the stock Windows one. Just click that. So you click the small one and then the big one to confirm. Directions are right there. And then I can click start screen. Now start screen is right here where you saw. Or, sorry. You can see, you get used to hitting the home button. But this is the start screen. So, let's just click setting again. Okay, so start screen. Let's say I don't like those circles. And I'd rather have these lines instead. I click those and I'll click confirm. Color. Now let's say I'm not a huge blue person, even though I am. I like maybe black more or like teal. Or kind of this mahogany burgundy color. Green. That blue again. Gray. Red and purple. Let's say I like black. I'll just hit that and confirm. So that's under the personalized menu. For now users is very awesome. Because users, you can simply type in your own name right there. And then you can actually change the image right there. You can see I've uploaded my logo. Now, that is changeable via SSH or iFile or some sort of file explorer program. That's simply change. Again, hitting the home button. That's how native it feels, guys. You get used to hitting the home button. Is That just changes right here what it says. So yours obviously won't say UCS on it. Yours will say whatever you set it to. Okay, so that's users. Settings, you can see it has the weather code from Yahoo right here of Los Angeles, just like downtown LA. And I can set all my weather settings, update intervals, GPS, 12-hour format, icon set between the Metro, which is Windows Mobile, literal, Windows like phone devices slash Windows 8, or the HTC, like sense icons. You can select English, German, Spanish, French, or Italian, and select Fahrenheit or Celsius and then click save. Desktop right here you can see we can select desktop or start menu and this is cool because you can see right here it shows the kind of a Windows 7 or Windows 8 desktop feature of it that selects which one will pull up automatically we'll get to that. First time the first time you open this theme it will have this help screen on shows you how to use it you can select whether to activate this again or not and then options will just open your actual settings up. Now like I said on the lock screen if you don't like this picture, which I don't either, just want to set it to prove the point is I can go back and change it. So let's say, let's say I want the Earth instead, using one of the stock app ones, and now you can use any picture you want to actually to prove that point. I'll just go to my camera roll, and let's say I like this car, which I do. I'll set both. Just go back out. This one you do hit the home button, and then actually if I if I lock it right here, you'll see it's now that car. You can see not a very good picture, too much light right here, can't see the clock, but you can see once you have wallpaper, wallpaper JPEGifier, you can set your own wallpaper to whatever you want. So again, that is the live tiles and everything of WinPad 8. And like I said, there is that one last feature beyond all that that makes it, I think, just puts the icing on the cake. And I wasn't expecting it to do anything really. I was expecting it maybe to open the dream board again, but 
this is amazing. Like I said, desktop. So you click this little tile right here. And you can see, just like Windows 8, if you know what I mean, it opens up the actual Windows desktop. The idea that Windows 8 follows of being mobile and an uh, actual like computer. So it looks like Windows 7, but it's actually Windows 8 because it doesn't have the little start. Instead, it's up here. So you can see, you get computer. Computer will actually just open iFile up for you if it's installed. If not, it won't do anything. You can see you have a actual clock widget that is live. You can see you can set the clock type too, to whatever you want. So let's say square or chronometer, whatever. Okay, so right there you can see it changed. You can see it, it changes a little bit. It's a little glitchy, kind of isolating it a little bit. Okay, you can see you got calendar right there. You can tap to change that one between that. So let's say I like that. And then weather is actually cool because it shows Los Angeles just like it. You can see it's got a little bit of weird screen flicker. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, but if I click Los Angeles, you can see. And I want to make a note, guys. That screen flicker is a f screen flickering is a first. I've never seen that before, so might be something I just screwed up just now. So not sure. A little maybe the iPad's a little nervous on camera, but you can see it pulls up actually three day forecast and the high and low for today and stuff, and tells you like partly cloudy for Los Angeles. Tap that and it goes small again. Documents. You can see right here, it just opens up a little window, just like it. Sadly, this isn't movable. You can see applications, just opens up right here, little application grid. Hit the back button. Favorites and games are all programmable via edit mode. Music, photos, and videos open the respective apps on the iPad. Then you get these, which are just, you know, little shortcuts to certain apps right here. Then you can click start button, gets you right back. And one last thing would be, you pull up from the bottom, click this button and you get the normal app grid shows all your apps unfortunately it's actually going this way instead of straight down like in rows alphabetically so it goes alphabetically this way that uh, is a little bit of a drawback kind of a little bit kind of sucks and then some of the icons like messages are a little bit squished kind of if you know that you can see right here because it's a big one Dreamboard has to make it squish so not really a knock on the developer, more of a knock on Dreamboard. So, again, that's WinPad 8. I, honestly, guys, this theme blew me away when I reached out to the guy. So kind, the developer. Helped me out setting this up. Uh, just helped me out with everything. So, really, guys, go check this out on the Mod My iForms. Link is in the description below. Again, this is WinPad for iPad. WinPad 8 for iPad. I'd give this a solid probably 4.5 out of 5 just because the app grid... Um, and a little bit like the screen flickering and stuff. So a little bit of glitches, but I think I think for really only the second update, only for a few small updates, this is 1.1. Just to fix the sm small updates in the original one. I think this has to be probably the best theme I've seen for iPad since like Honeypad or anything. So make sure to check this out, guys. Uh, thanks to Fallen ZX for, sent or for giving this to review. And I'll see you guys in the next video.